Hi everyone. Today I received my Oddworld Soulstorm Collector's Audition and I'm going to be doing a short unboxing video to show you what's inside. Full disclosure, I bought this with my own money. No one has sent this to me. This is something that I pre-ordered back at the end of March and I've received it today. I have just taken the cellophane off of it, nothing else. I haven't actually opened it yet. I know what's inside it from the contents on the back of the box. But um, yeah, I'm going to be, I guess, reacting to what's inside the box. So. I believe this is a sleeve on the outside, so that comes off. Okay, put that aside. Oh, again, we've got more of the key art sort of wrapped around the box there. Oh, and it's another sleeve actually, so what's inside it? Okay. First of all, we've got a very nice steel book in here. I'm going to try and pry it out. Oh, there we go. Let's take it out of there. Very nice indeed. Oh, and this is the main event, by the way. This is what actually excited me to get this. I don't usually get collector's editions, but I've been a big fan of the Oddworld games since the very first one, Abe's Odyssey, on uh, the PlayStation. Always wanted to have some kind of Abe statue, and so that's why I jumped at the opportunity to get this. What I'll do is I'll put that aside for now, and I will come back to it after the smaller bits. So we have some art cards in it as well. That's one of them that's loose. Uh, here we go, here's the other ones. Um, yep, looks like sort of environments. This is the PS4 version by the way, it is available in the PS5 uh, version as well. So here is the actual game and um, it can be upgraded to the PS5 version. So you can always transfer the disc out of that and keep it in this lovely still book. Oh, we've got a little key ring. Soulstorm Mining Company. It's rubber, uh, so it's, it's nice. Yeah, it's fine. It's absolutely fine. It's a key ring. What more can I say about that? Okay, next piece. Oh, it's quite a lot, quite a hefty art book here as well. Some, uh, concept art and some animatics and uh, yeah, very nice. I'll have a good old read of that. So, okay, anything else left in the box? Oh, right, okay. So we have a uh, one of Abe's hand tattoos, the, uh, the Scrabble one. Um, I'm a little disappointed that there's not the Paramite one as well. I think it might be a tattoo like um, a temporary tattoo. It is a temporary tattoo, so you could theoretically put that on your hand, but um, yeah, not the Paramite one though, that's on Abe's other hand, which is a little disappointing. And uh, we've got some stickers as well. Okay, so the Abe statue, this is the thing that I'm most excited about. So let's get this out of the packaging. Oh, we've got some tape, so luckily I came prepared for this. Hopefully this comes apart. Okay, all right, a few, two separate parts. Okay, let's have a look. You know what, that is not bad. That is not bad. We've got some nice detailing on the backpack. Yeah, yeah, I really like that. That is really nice. It's about the height that I thought it was gonna to be, to be honest. I, I couldn't really, it obviously gives you the measurements of the, of the statue, but I couldn't really sort of picture its proportions. And you've got a little crate of Soulstorm Brew here, the crate itself. Oh, and it comes with individual bottles as well, and um, you can actually put them in the slot. And this doesn't actually attach to the base permanently, it's more of a loose prop. And um, you can just rest it anywhere with the bottles in it. This was when I pre ordered it $129.99. The price is about to fluctuate with other retailers and it being a collector's edition, availability and such. Yeah, I, quite, I really do like the details of this. This is going to go on my shelf with a few of my other gaming statues. And um, yeah, I'm pretty pleased with that. It's, that's going to look really nice on my shelf. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope this has been educational. And um, yeah, see you later.